and welcome back to Alation Data Governance and Data Catalog Tool Review Series Part 4. In this video, we will look at adding different data sources for metadata collection. On the home page, click on the apps menu here, click on sources. You can see there are three different types of sources that have already been added as a part of this Alation instance. These are data sources, file systems, and BI servers. Data sources are primarily those relational databases or relational data warehouses. File systems are cloud object stores like S3 and Azure Blob. And BI servers, which currently are supported by Alation, are Tableau, Business Objects, and SSRS reports. Right now, in this video, we'll look at adding Snowflake as a data source. Click on the Add button here. You will definitely see data source, which are relational thing, relational databases. There is a concept called as virtual data source and virtual da data file systems. This is similar to the data source or the file systems, except the reason they are called as virtual is because they do not directly represent or connect to the source systems, but Alation has provided them as a means to ingest metadata in these virtual data sources and source that metadata wherever Alation does not have a direct access to the system. For example, if you are on Netiza and the organizational policies do not allow Alation to connect to Netiza and source the metadata, we could create a virtual data warehouse or virtual data source where we can ingest or push metadata from Netiza into this source and then have Alation connect to it. So virtual data source, and pardon me, it's not data warehouse, but virtual data source is an intermediary data tables where metadata is pushed from the source systems and Alation can read from that metadata. Again, this is provided to ensure Alation can still read the metadata wherever the direct access to those source systems is restricted due to organizational policies or some other reasons. That said, let's move on and click add data source. We'll provide a quick title, demo Alation. I can add additional source admins by default. I'm the source admin here because I'm creating this. We can actually ask source admins to also complete this, but for the sake of demo, I'll say I'm setting up this data source and I'll continue setup. The connection type. Now, Alation has a rich out of the box source connectors for various relational data sources, right from Apache Cassandra. Azure SQL Data Warehouses, Custom DBs, Databricks, Google Queries, Greenplum, and a host of other sources. For our sake, we'll select Snowflake today. You can enter a JDBC URI or a host system IP. I'll go with our organization Snowflake connection. It's nothing but a URL. We'll keep the port as 443. Remember not to add the forward slash here. That does not go well with the port here. Warehouse name is the warehouse where you would want to run Alation queries. So if there is a lot of metadata extraction, there is a lot of sampling queries that you plan to run through Alation. I would recommend creating a different warehouse named 
data governance warehouse or allusion warehouse for the purpose of this video i'll use demo warehouse database name data governance underscore sandbox catalog is nothing but a name given to this data source and all its objects so that any mass updation and anything that has to be done can be done on the catalog name demolition. Pay attention to the privacy, public or private. I'll click private for now. I'll save and continue. I'll skip this tab saying that, oh, sorry. This is more of a service account. I'll use the service account that I have already defined. I will stay away from defining a service account through Alation for obvious reasons to ensure that there is granular control on what you want to allow this service ID to do. I'll click save and continue. I'll skip this step because Alation has the snowflake out of the box and it will find its own query log ingestion and other things. And you can see my connection has been successful. If it was not, it would have got me to this page. This page is the initial setup of a DB, which means my connection is successful to the Snowflake instance, as well as to the database and warehouse where I want to be. The first page is all about access. I can add more admins here, which I may not have added in the initial phase. I can change the public private data source privacy settings. In general settings, I see the URI and URLs that I had con configured, the hash map snowflake, the service account. I can I have other options like query log privileges, data uploader, dynamic sampling, which I can turn off and on, startup scripts, probably some grants that you want to run as soon as this is executed, and so on and so forth. Compose, as I had mentioned is a query editing tool to interact with the databases directly. The next step is about metadata extraction. A job is triggered, which will fetch metadata from DB. Initially, the job would take considerable amount of time, but with frequent runs, the runtime obviously reduces as the amount of metadata extraction is also reduced. Data sampling is all about how many records do you want to bring from each and every table. Normally, we can set that limit to 1000 records per object. There are some pre-object pre parameters and there is a query log injection parameter as well. For the sake of this video, I'll run the metadata extraction and sampling while I pause this video and come back once the results are collected. As you can see, the extraction has been started. I'll probably launch that job right now. It takes a bit of time. You can see the job has been running for a minute now. The status has now changed. It's saying ingesting the extracted metadata, meaning the metadata extraction is complete. It's ingesting into Alicia internal metadata tables. As you can see, the extraction of metadata is complete. Since this was an initial launch, it took almost 250 seconds. We'll now move on to data sampling. And for the sake of simplicity, I will reduce the samples to just 10 tables and click launch job now. The job gets queued. And yes, this is going to use the warehouse that you have set. So if you want to account for the credit usage by the data governance tool, the recommendation would be to set a separate warehouse in order to monitor the costs and account for it. As you can see now, the data sampling has also completed. I had selected only 10 tables, 
if the number of tables is large then obviously it's going to take a lot of credits and time in the following videos we'll look at the data sampling in detail and the metadata collection in detail for now 